Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Dranoff, and I'm the Director of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at UAMS. Patients with progressive liver disease, no matter what the cause, may eventually develop cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is a technical term describing architectural changes of the liver, but what does it mean to the patient? To the patient, cirrhosis means cessation of effective liver functions. The liver stops making its proteins effectively. It stops metabolizing sugar and other nutrients as effectively and uh, ultimately can lead to protein deficiencies and other functional deficiencies. Probably more importantly is when the liver becomes cirrhotic, its blood flow becomes dramatically altered. That results in a condition we call portal hypertension. And in portal hypertension, patients can develop such dramatic and life-threatening complications as esophageal varices. These are veins that are within the esophagus that can bleed, and when the bleeds occur, they can be life-threatening. In addition, ma many patients will develop accumulation of fluid in their abdomen, we call that ascites, or even in their legs, and we call that edema. This ascites uh, is probably well recognized by patients and may be the first uh, inclination that a patient has cirrhosis. If a patient comes in with any of these, uh, possibilities they need to seek expert medical attention immediately. A diagnosis of cirrhosis is certainly not a death sentence. On the contrary, we now have very effective therapies to keep people feeling well and to keep them healthy and uh, reduce their risk of having a catastrophic event while they do have cirrhosis. Some patients with cirrhosis will eventually progress to liver failure. Thankfully, liver transplantation is an available and effective therapy uh, for uh, patients with progressive liver failure, and we have an excellent program here at UAMS.